So Divine Feminine, <clears throat> I just did a reading about a karmic energy that's trying to slow you down spiritually. So we just going to go a little further and find out who this person is. Okay, this is somebody who's in the first reading, they were um, there. They possibly is coming towards you to bring you some sort of message, apology. This is somebody who you isolated yourself from. And um, they, it's like they were into spirituality, they were into crystals and all of that. And um, all because something didn't didn't work out for them. <clears throat> Just because something didn't work out for them. You have to watch what you say around this person. You have to, you can't, you know, it's like they don't want to hear about the spiritual journey. They don't want to hear about the spiritual path. They don't want to hear it. Okay. And at the same time, they're trying to make you jump off the boat. Or they want you to stay there with them they don't like it and it's 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 you know this person at one time they were saying they're saying stuff like the crystals don't help them the crystals don't work that's because they don't have faith they're not charging them they're not programming them programming them they're not doing none of that maybe you could be the one going to tell this person that they need to recharge you they need to have faith they need to take them out of the closet. Take them out of the drawer. Yeah. But whoever this person is, three cards fell out. See, you're you are spiritually connected. You are spiritually connected. So this is somebody, you know, they they <laughs> okay. Or these other cards, I'm just going with what I pulled up already from the last read. I'm just continuing this. You block this person. You're not talking to them. They, If you had them on social media and, and they was able to see your pictures, they could have been screenshotting pictures of yours, pointing the finger. This is somebody who they, you know, like I said, they started on a spiritual journey or it maybe didn't work for them they they may look at it as a religion or they just can't get into it or something but they they don't want you to grow in it yeah they was pointing the finger saying you was doing a lot of stuff so maybe this why you're not talking to them no more you may not be answering their calls, their texts. You just, you know, cut communication with them. And like I said, if they was on social media, you, you block them on there. Because when you was around this person, just because it didn't work for them, it's like they, they were kind of trying to manipulate you into, you know, hiding your spirituality. I'm, I'm saying like, say for instance, you, you got a friend, this your friend, okay, or this your sister, or this could be any, any, it's a feminine energy, she could be your friend, your homegirl, and she used to be on the spiritual journey, she used to be all in the crystals, you know, she used to wear stuff like this, and then she stopped. And because it's new to you and you're you're just now awakening, now she's trying to, you know, what's the word? Kind of try to sidetrack you, don't want you to, to do. That's what I, I feel. And with this pointing the finger in reverse, she could be, you know, saying you doing something to her. She could be saying that she had to isolate herself from you. She could be saying that you don't know 
about spirituality. Or she could be saying that, you know, because it's showing that somebody is, is you know, somebody got degrees in this shit. Somebody is 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 very, you know, this is like a, a, a graduation thing. You graduated, okay? And it's like, you know how to use your intuition. You may wear glasses, but you don't need them glasses to to use your intuition. You are somebody who's your who you you are connected with your ancestors and your spirit guides, the Most High God. You have a special connection, and whoever this person is, either they refuse to do the work of because you just can't be on a spiritual journey and not do the work. You know, it's 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 it's. it's it's an essential. It's essential things you have to do. And apparently it works for you, but it don't work for them. That's, you know, and they shouldn't hold you accountable for what, what didn't work for them. It works for you. If it works for you, Divine Feminine, it works for you. Divine Masculine, whichever, whoever you are. If this spiritual thing is working for you, you are your own individual person. But you do got somebody around because they may feel like they a failure when it comes to this, when it comes to them. So it's like you done blocked this person, and I don't I don't blame you. You don't want to talk to this person. They don't believe in what you believe in. So what's the use of being around somebody? All that's going to do is bring your energy in, in a negative side. Yeah. If this is resonating with you, hit that thumbs up button. This is the, the, the sexual energy vampire. For somebody, you could be, you could be, um, this could be your partner who you done blocked or somebody who you, who you gave your sexual energy to, or they stole your sexual energy. They pointing the finger saying that you stole their energy. So you getting away from them. You isolating yourself from this person. You blocking yourself from this person. They could be saying if this is a person you a person you done slept with, they could be saying things about they had spiritual knowledge, they knew all of this and they knew all of that, and they slept with you and then they lost all of that knowledge. They can't do this and they can't do that. But the roles can be reversed. They this may be happening to you. They're saying what you're doing to them, but it's actually them doing it to you. They pointing the finger. But now I see they can't point the finger no more because you didn't isolated yourself from them. Whether it was somebody, a sex vampire you was intimate with, whether it's some of you out there that this is a family member, whether it's a sister, a brother, or whoever, a co-worker, somebody who was on the spiritual journey and because they don't want to want to be on it, they want to knock you off the boat. That's what I'm getting. Yep. Tell me more about this person. If this person was manipulating you, you're not accepting the mind manipulation. And it, it just showed me that their confirmation for somebody there, they want to manipulate you, your mind. They want to stop you from going through this transformation. They want to stop you from awakening. Yeah, so they play mind games with you. Yeah, see, this is, you have a gift, you have a talent, you, you know your purpose. You may uh, be an artist, you may be a singer, you may be a dancer, you may be, you know, um, you may play an instrument, 
You may be a motivational speaker. You may um, inspire people. Whatever your gift is, your talent is, they 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 don't want you to showcase it. You know how to use your intuition, and and somebody you can be intimate with can be, you know, draining you sexually. A sex energy vampire. An energy vampire that uses sex to drain your energy. I want to bite your blood. I mean, I want to bite your neck. I want to suck your blood. I want to drain your energy. And you done blocked them. So whatever they was doing... Pointing the finger saying you draining their energy. Oh, every time when they have sex with you, they just tired. You make me not want to get up and go to work the next day. But no, that's the energy what they do to you. Or they trying to. And if you walking around with these bracelets and you protecting yourself and all of that, you're this, you know, like I said, for some of you, this is a family member who used to be into this shit. Into the spirituality shit. And now they ain't into it no more. And they mad at you. Because you are. They trying to block you. So you, this is somebody you need to isolate yourself from. Because they'll try to, they'll start trying to tell you negative shit that happened to them. That shit get up in your head. Confirmation. It'll get up in your head and be like, well, damn, that happened to them. What if that happened to me? You got to have a positive, you know, attitude when you're on this spiritual journey. You see how she's blowing them butterflies? That's transformation. See them lights around her head? That's that's things things being illuminated. Yeah. 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 Things are being illuminated. Transformation. Things coming to the light. Using your 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 crown chakra. See them lights all around her crown chakra? See them butterflies? That's the transformation. You guys didn't understand my subliminal um, background. <laughs> yeah. See, and it keep it it as I'm shuffling and I look at the cards, it's it's showing me the same thing. Some of you, somebody, you may have a, a, a sewing business. You may make clothes or something. Stitch designs on clothes. You may be a designer or something. And you got somebody around you. And you're you you're you're successful. You can be successful with this, whatever this career is, whether it's making clothes, designing clothes, sewing clothes, whatever it is that you do, it, it's it's a gift. You're gifted doing it. And some of you you want to open your own businesses and be entrepreneurs and sell. You may cook something, you may have recipes, you may want to write a recipe book. You may, you know, it's, it's different for everybody, but you do have somebody around you that don't want you to be successful, rather it's going on a spiritual journey, rather it's going forward in life, rather it's moving on to a new relationship. It's, it's, it's always karmic energies out here that are trying to stop you from moving forward, trying to stop your new beginnings. Yeah. Tell me more. Tell me more about this person who's coming with an apology. What's this apology all about? What is the apology? See? This is, again, this is a card. Some of you may read tarot, and this person don't like you reading tarot. You have a gift. You can't see the card, but... This is a gifted card, and somebody is hiding, and Spirit is saying, whatever it is that you're supposed to be doing when it comes to helping somebody, you know, your, your purpose is here, either, even if it's to heal somebody. You may, you may be an artist, and you may draw something, and people look at your art, and it is healing art. You may have a beautiful voice that's healing. Don't use that voice for dark. 
okay? You may have a a, a motivational voice, an inspirational voice that you need to speak and you heal people, okay? It can be many things that you do. And Spirit is saying for you to start doing it. See? See how she, like, like that light is coming out that box? See them tarot cards on the ground? See that, that, that checker box? You know, somebody may be playing mind games with you, playing games with you. But you need to let them birds, them, them three birds coming out. That's the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Okay? They want you to release whatever it is that you hide it. Okay, you, it, it means that you need to do what you're supposed to be doing and stop allowing somebody to stop you. Isolate yourself from this person. Some of you, you had this person blocked and you unblocked them. And you need to block them again because they're they're on your on your social media. You know, for those of you that have social media, they on your social media. And either spying or taking notes or whatever they see, they're trying to come and, and say negative shit about it. Block them. Okay? So I'm going to stop right there. If I gave you any help in your situation or clarification in your situation, go ahead and subscribe to this channel. And I'll see you in the next reading. Peace out.